Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is a nice, simple Sunday morning. It rained a little bit last night. And uh, you know, today I just wanted to take it back to simple firewood, just the basics. And uh, show you know what, you don't have to have big fancy tools to do firewood. You know, a lot of people on YouTube, they've got huge operations, you know, all the fancy equipment and tools. And uh, while all that stuff is nice, um, maybe you're just getting into firewood and you just want to make some extra money or you enjoy this kind of stuff and um, You know, maybe you see all the big channels and Tools and it's just over your head and you don't even know where to start. You can't make that investment You know today. I just want to show you um, It doesn't have to be big and fancy um, If you're just looking to make some extra money and you have some down firewood uh, Some down trees and you want to cut up then uh, go for it. You can do it. Let me show you here Local to me, um, a family friend has a woods and it is just littered with ash trees. Every time I come here, there is more down. And um, this isn't really a place that I wanna get a bunch of equipment into and destroy the woods. Um, I wanna keep this place nice. The landowner wants to keep this place nice. But uh, I'd like to clean up all the firewood. And, you know, obviously I don't wanna do this for free. I do enjoy doing this, but it's I'm here to make money too. So today I brought out my old Husqvarna 450 Rancher. This is just an entry level chainsaw. But if you're just gonna cut some firewood on the weekends in the woods, um, just down ash logs, man, that's all you really need. A chainsaw, an ax, something to pick it up with, you know, a pickaroon. And uh, I like to just come out here, cut all this downed wood up, cut it into pieces, set it out and uh, if you got a good ax, and especially if it's ash wood, I mean, you can just hack it right up, throw it in your truck or however you're gonna get it back to your place and uh, let it sit for, you know, a week or two. This ash is good to go. It's the driest stuff you'll ever mess with and uh, it's ready to sell. Also guys, I wanted to mention too, um, if you're thinking about getting into firewood, just your basic stuff like this, that chainsaw, I bought it. It was like brand new when I got it. I got it off Marketplace several years ago. It was 200 bucks. Um, a simple splitting ax. You don't have to buy that one. You could buy something else. 40 bucks. A picaroon, 50 bucks. So you're at $300 there. And uh, three, three face cords of wood um, will pretty much pay for that. You don't really have a ton of expenses in, you know... A, a chain if you can sharpen a chain that chain will last a long time um, they don't really use that much gas you know you got to get it out of the woods somehow maybe if you're already into fire or you're into outdoorsing and stuff you have an atv or something get a small little trailer get it out of the woods maybe you can just drive your truck right back to where you're at there's definitely money to be made in this and uh you don't have to have the nicest stuff to do it so we're getting to it let's go
Also guys, while we're on the topic of simple, if you split wood with an ax or a mull, let me know what you like. I have only used axes, I don't have any mulls. Um, I'm not like a big heavy swinger, so I think an ax works better for me, but I've been thinking about trying the Fiskars, like I think an eight or six pound mull. Um, so if you have one of those, let me know what you like to use. I'm gonna use this Fiskars and uh, slice all this up. The Husqvarna is the Husqvarna ax I have. Works really nice for smaller pieces, but I think bigger pieces is Fiskars. With a uh, longer handle, you can get a better swing on it. I think it's a little bit better. Plus, the head doesn't get stuck as much. So, let me know what you like. I'm going to split this all up now.
all right guys so that is it got my uh face cord here stacked up i think total i've been out here for maybe an hour and i took a little break after i split all that wood because firewood's hard work doing it this way is hard work but if you're a motivated person um you like good exercise it's a great way to do it um i think in the future once i get kind of the trails cleaned up and uh things cleaned out a little bit I'm going to bring my tractor back here and start gathering the logs, um, cleaning stuff up the best I can and make a log pile and then bring my splitter back here and split it all up. Um, ideally, I think in the woods like this, the best splitter to use is just a box door splitter, something easy to move around with your hands. Um, not a big, heavy splitter. So I'll do it. You don't need anything special to do firewood. You just need motivation and uh, some simple tools and and get a lot of wood done whether you're doing it to sell or you're doing it to heat your house or heat your garage whatever you're doing it for number one thing you need motivation and uh, a good body so thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time